Rx. Today's video will uh, this is a tutorial video, and I'm gonna show up how to build a mm, mm, LAU. <laughs> well, we'll be building the redstone LAU, and yeah, LAU is very, very important because most of people. What are you doing there? Did I. Uh, did I even ask? Huh? Oh, wait. It is realized. It died. I spawned it. Oh my goodness. Okay. It also replaced the battery on my laptop, so as you can see, it's just charging right now. It does work actually. We will we'll talk about that. Let's begin. So, it starts with a 4 bit LED. You can stack it as more as you want. So, with this one, put a block, lever, redstone dust, torch, make a something like that. I know tutorial villains are sometimes really like annoying or sometimes you have to confuse it sometimes <laughs> I don't know what I'm even saying guys so I'm stupid a little bit oh my goodness I also got some glitched cape right here oh, as you can see I purchased it and it's glitched as you can see we don't talk about that again so we did it now we have to stack it eight more but I don't have rolled in it so I'll do some off camera it will look something like that now we what we actually do so if you have like four bits there will be like eight of these ones because uh four for a inputs and four for b inputs four for four for oh my goodness that just makes me annoying like all right now we need a way to invert our inputs let's start with b you start like wrong right here and i'd skip every piston here it's gonna be a little bit weird, but only for the first time now. Like four, four. That that makes me annoyed. Like what the hell? Okay, so just to boost the signal string, I'm gonna do like that. I'm also gonna label that. So where's the sign? I need to find the sign. Okay, right here. Oh, I already had it in my inventory, so I just lost my uh, time. So invert. Actually, I'm gonna put it here. Invert. Then we do the same, but on top now. I also try to reinstall Bandicam, so I won't get any glitch, and that will be um, good to watch. I'll say like it's hard to explain. So we got with the inverting. Now the problem is that if that's invert A, right? That's okay. Invert A, but I don't mean this one, maybe it didn't work. That's super weird. I didn't freaking ask for that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now let's start with XORs. Put two blocks like that. And then another block here. Do it for all of those XORs. I also want to say that thanks, thanks you. Oh my goodness, what I'm saying. I want to tell you guys thanks a lot for supporting me because you guys, you, I see you guys are supporting me the last time really much. Thanks you, uh, thank you, Altan and Duda. Literally, I don't know what I'm saying, but right now I do know what I'm saying. A little bit getting a little bit stupid, but thanks a ton. I really appreciate. That you guys are supporting me, so thanks a ton again. And let's let's continue our job. And now we do another X source, but this time those outputs right here they have to go to this side. So they have to go like oh my goodness, just like this ish, I think. Yeah. And we have to replicate this for all those outputs for our XORs. When you're done, it will look like that. But each every LU, of course, needs to have addition, subtraction, control lines, and bitwise logic. Let's first turn it on addition. So otherwise, we can make our control lines, connect them. So they should be on this like on this edge. If you look like that, they need to be on the left side. Then you take it out from here, block this off, 
then connect them to your RB input for this Excel. Replicate this for all of them. What do you do with this guy? Well, you just put another Excel gate. Like that. Oh yeah, oh my goodness. Uh huh, like that. Then connect it back here. So we don't have to worry about another line. We already did an addition. You can pretty much look if it does work. Let me just label it. Okay, so we only build it by binary. So let's do like 3 plus 5. It does like that. By 5. 3 plus 5. The output's also working on binary because binary algorithms are a lot easier. They save just some space and we get 8. So it's actually also not a ripple because ripple adders are just slow. You can also build some CCA adders if you want, but there it will take us ridiculous time to try to make a um, LU of CCAs. Now let's make control lines. Carry in is this here. Carry in. Let's also make OR, which can be made like that. You make this lines. They have to go right here. When they go to here, they need to be bust down. This will be our OR gate. And then you block the down right here, otherwise it will mess anything up. And then you put a redstone dust on all of these. Don't worry about this guy. And then you put a torch here. And then you invert it. So this is our OR. Let's also food carry. This time it will be a ripple. So it may be like this. Because this time well it's it's gonna be a, a ripple addition for fluid carry. It's hard to explain. I'll also block this out right here. What the let's hope that I didn't mess anything up. I think the video is broken right now. I'll check, I'll check. So I pressed the uh, full screen mode but it will just glitch out the video. But what also FC needs to do is it needs to go to the carry in. I think you can just connect it like that. So with control lines, we are good to go. We have all the control lines, but let's also turn on the bitwise logic. What I also did is I taken my um, control lines. Now you bring them out like that. Alright, I've taken out all of them and I put up five lines and underneath all of our control lines. Make sure there's not block uh, redstone dot space in right here because we are gonna do some coding. Coding just to do a uh, handle with B twice logic. But I mean, some of them like XOR or AD with LU only works in LU, so you may miss, for example, this guy. I will need to output 1 and we'll also output 8. We are calculating with LU on it. So I think that's gonna be right. I'm gonna label all of them. Okay, let's do some coding. For the subtraction mode, we have to invert B, which is this one, and then put in a carry in. So that's our subtraction. Let's do 3 minus 5. Well, it will glitch out because it can't do negative numbers, so I'm gonna do positive 1. So I did 5 minus 3. Instead, don't worry about this guy. Um, now let's do something another. AD will invert two of our inputs, go to OR, and then I think carry in maybe. Yeah, well, I think. Now if I do AD, well, it needs to work. Let's do three minus. Yeah, instead of carry in, you put uh, FC and natural locked inputs one, outputs one because three, AD five, don't worry about this guy. Then we do the same on this guy on in A D, but just do no ors or does not need to be you. For the X nor invert B and then put a root carry. And for X nor root carry. That's pretty much it. That's L that's L U. Uh thanks for watching. If it helps you at home, please consider like subscribing. Best health and I really appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next video.